Bukto Revelta. Whoops, wrong thing. Bukto Revelta. There we go. Are you ready to go back to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter? If so, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Parts 1 and 2, is the book for you. Coming out earlier this year, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child has become, become a worldwide phenomenon, exactly like its predecessors. Being the eighth book in the franchise, and being the first book to have a play format, it was quite a unique idea, and what many fans anticipated. Now to understand the story, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, we must go into the animated world. Anime Tada. Whoa. Here we are. So, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child takes place exactly where the Deathly Hallows epilogue concluded, with Harry sending off his youngest child, Albus Severus Potter, off to Hogwarts. It has been 19 years since the battle against Voldemort and Harry's a celebrity, to the dismay of Albus Severus. We are also introduced to Scorpius Malfoy, the son of Draco Malfoy. He has been known to possibly be the son of Voldemort since both Draco Malfoy and his wife were Death Eaters and could not have children, giving him a very bad reputation. Ironically, unlike Harry Potter and Draco Malfoy, these two became fast friends. Harry's son also becomes part of Slytherin, which is quite unusual. Meanwhile, Harry is the leader of the Ministry of Magic and has to deal with issues at home with his kids and the Ministry with time triggers. Now becoming illegal and Cedric Diggory's father asking him to save his son. The years in Hogwarts go on and Harry and Albus get further and further apart, which could be the end for the magical world. Now, with the synopsis out of the way, we have to go back to the real world. Back to Rialto. Whoa. Okay. Upon the release of the book, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, the book received much mixed reaction, while the play received critical acclaim. One example for one of the mixed responses to negative responses was in The Federalist by author Ramona Taz, who called the book having an attention-getting yet not well-crafted plot. And that tended to be the criticism received by a good majority of the negative response. Being such a departure from the regular Harry Potter books, this became one of the most unique ones in the series and dealed with issues that are never dealt with before. Another review criticizing the plot and the format this time around of the book is The Independent, who believed that due to being a script format, it had some limitations which it could not overcome and feels like it was undermined and didn't live up to the potential of being the 8th installment of the Harry Potter franchise. On the other hand, I believe that the story being such a departure and such a different story brought forth some new elements you never thought could come from the Harry Potter book and enjoyed it immensely. Compared to the Independence Review, the, the script format brought a whole new dimension to the characters in a, in a very unique way by showing how they speak and, and such. With both reviewers saying that the plot was boring and unenergetic and un Harry Potter esque, I disagree in the fact that I found the adventures and twists and, and twists throughout the whole story made it a compelling enough story to be honorably regarded as the eighth book of the franchise and I recommend this book greatly. Though being a bit of an easier book to read, it consisted of some harder words such as the word progeny and the word salad. Now with that out of the way, up 